So in this video, we're going to look at a particular trade that's causing mayhem in financial markets at the moment. Over the last few days, the Japanese yen has surged um, and hit levels that frankly haven't been seen since around World War II, uh, particularly against currencies such as the uh, Australian and American dollars. So what's going on? All kinds of theories out there. Some people saying it's yen being repatriated back to Japan in order to uh, stimulate reinvestment in the economy in the wake of this disaster. But actually, there's another force at play and it's almost certainly more powerful, and that is hedge funds unwinding carry trades. Now that's quite a mouthful and actually it sounds more impressive than it is. So in this video let's have a look at what a carry trade aims to do um, and what the effect of unwinding it would be on something like the Japanese yen. And um, first of all, you know, hedge funds. Uh, we're going to talk about a little bit about the carry trade. It's popular with hedge funds. It's a way in theory of making easy money provided something doesn't move the market suddenly. And of course, just that something has happened in the last few days. So a basic carry trade is a foreign currency trade. What's the objective? Well, here's the basic idea. What you look to do with a carry trade is to borrow in a cheap currency so you can invest the proceeds in a more expensive one and the objective is to take the interest rate differential and pocket it. So let's have a look at a quick example. Um, so imagine, for example, um, I, I spot that the cost of borrowing yen, so I borrow one million of them, JPY is just Japanese yen in Forex speak, if you like. So I borrow one million Japanese yen because I've spotted the interest rate I have to pay is pretty much 0%. All right, Japan's been in recession for years and years and years. Recent events are not going to help, of course, um, and so the currency is very cheap. Um, and what I, rec what I spot is, well, actually, if I invest in Australian dollars, they're paying a much better interest rate. I can get four and three quarters percent. So what I do is exactly that. I borrow one million yen, and let's say at the moment there are uh, 75 yen to one Aussie dollar, AUD, Australian dollar. So all I do is take my 1 million yen, flip them into Aussie dollars, and that's an Aussie dollar investment of slightly awkward numbers, 13,333, three, three, three. at a rate of 75 yen to the dollar. In other words, I've taken a million just divided by 75 to get 13,333. Three, three. So, why have I done that? Because here I can earn an Aussie dollar interest rate of four and three quarters percent. So, essentially, why wouldn't you do it? In one way, you're borrowing at zero to invest at 4.75%. It's money for nothing. And a carry trade is exactly that. Um, hedge funds can gear up. They can borrow huge amounts of yen, potentially, and invest them in other much stronger currencies. Aussie dollar, commodity-backed currency, is a good bet, um, or has been. American dollar, not bad. In other words, anything that pays more than approximately 0%. Can it go wrong? Yes. And recently, it has been going wrong. It can go wrong because that is an asset. Whereas that 1 million Japanese yen is a liability. In other words, leaving aside my technical language there, in other words, this is supposed eventually to pay back that. I've borrowed in Japanese yen and I'm sitting on an asset in Aussie dollars, but at some point I'm going to have to repay the loan. The problem arises when this currency here starts to strengthen. And here's why that's a problem. Imagine for a moment that the Japanese yen starts to creep up against the Australian dollar. So suddenly there are not 75 Japanese yen to one Aussie dollar. There are only 65 Japanese yen to one Aussie dollar because currencies move, exchange rates change. So what? Here's the problem. 
if I want to use this asset of 13333 Aussie dollars, To repay that liability in yen, I've got a problem. Because at this rate of 65, I've now only got 866645 Japanese yen. So my problem is all of a sudden, just because the exchange rate has moved, the yen strengthened quite sharply, all of a sudden, my Australian dollar asset even though it pays a nice interest rate, is only worth that my liability is still to somebody to repay 1 million Japanese yen. So, bit of a problem. What's going to happen? And the answer is a margin call. I've got to find a way of equalising these two things. Okay. So, one possibility is maybe I need to borrow some more Japanese yen. Yeah, I need to get hold of more Japanese yen so that I can match my assets and my liabilities. It's called a margin call. It might be forced on me by whoever I set up the other side of this trade with. So imagine hedge funds are suddenly finding themselves in this position where if the yen strengthens even slightly, all of a sudden their balance sheets don't match up and they've got to start hunting around for yen or somebody can force them to close out the trade. And it's, it's that unwinding of carry trades is people thinking actually do you know what if the yen strengthens any further I've got a real problem on my hands so it's the hunt for yen to either repay this liability now or simply maintain and run the trade that's causing carnage it's causing a surge in the yen and it remains to be seen what the Bank of Japan can do about that uh, indeed what the international um, currency community can do about that because governments might try and intervene to try and push the yen down but they're up against a huge volume potentially of international capital that at least short term might be trying to push the yen up or have no choice but to push the yen up um, and that battle is going to unfold over the next few days and I wouldn't like to speculate on who's going to win it but I have to say my money is on the currency markets not government intervention.